So in today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at some of the street names in Liverpool city centre and how they got their names. There's a couple as well also that are linked to the slave trade. So without further ado, let's get exploring. Right, so we're going to kick things off with Old Hall Street. Now Old Hall Street, formerly White Acre Street or Peppard Street, once had a mansion house of the Moores family. The house was once called Moor Hall, but became known as the Old Hall. Right, just round the corner is Water Street. So this one was originally named Bank Street, one of the original medieval streets of Liverpool, changed to Water Street in around 1540. Right, next up is Dale Street, so-called because it led to the dale through which flowed the stream from Moss Lake to the Pool of Liverpool. This was also one of the original seven streets. Right, so next up is Hanover Street. Now this was named after the reigning family, George the First, Second the Third, or Fifth of the time. Originally it was called King Street. Right, up next is Duke Street, and this is a quick one. So Duke Street was named after the Duke of Cumberland, the brother of George the Second. Right, up next is Bowl Street. So it was laid out for residence around 1780 and named after Jonas Bold a noted slave merchant, sugar trader and banker. Right up next is Harvin Street. Now this was named after a guy called John Hardman. He actually owned the land and was also involved in the slave trade. Right up next is Canning Place. So this was named after George Canning, British Prime Minister and Foreign Minister. He helped outlaw the international slave trade. Right, so that was a look at just some of the streets of Liverpool City, where how they got their names and a couple of controversial ones there linked to the slave trade. Uh, there is more, I know there's more. Uh, I'm just not walking around town all day. So if anyone knows any more streets uh, which are not on here, please drop a comment below. But there is quite a lot of information online that does tell you that there's a lot more to um, a lot more to it than just what I've just pulled up anyway. So yeah, just in St. Luke's, just uh, finishing the video off. It's going dark. I'm knackered. It's starting to rain. And on that note, thank you once again for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.